SoundingTheAlarm.com. Warning, the events and issues of this broadcast are real and eternal. This is Trevor Davis sounding the alarm on November 23rd, 2013. I have a text today to share that I thought of as I was waking, Matthew 4.4. 4. It's the words of Jesus. This was quoted by Jesus and written down in the scriptures, his response to the temptation of the devil. When the devil was tempting him, Jesus answered with the word of God. And he said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That time... The devil was trying to tempt Jesus to break his fast. The the Spirit of God had driven him into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, and he was fasting 40 days. And the devil came and said, Oh, if you were the Son of God, turn the bread, the rocks into bread. Eat, break your fast, be disobedient, consider yourself. That's the way of the devil. He's always trying to get you to consider your own fleshly desire rather than God's will. And Jesus rebuked him, said, Get behind me, Satan. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. This is something God's saying to us. We need to live, and we can only live by hearing his voice, what he's saying. By every word that proceedeth out of his mouth, because God is talking, he's not dead. He's He's not a rock, he's not a pillar, he's not a picture or a stone or a pile of rocks that people worship. People worship the weirdest and most base things. But there's no one like God. The heavens are his throne. He stretched forth the heavens like a curtain and dwells in them. And God created us. We did not make ourselves, but God created us and formed us in his image and his likeness. And, and when Adam and Eve fell and disobeyed, they believed the lie of the devil. They didn't eat the word of God. They didn't stick by what God had said, but they disobeyed. And that's the example. If we violate what God says, it's certain death. And God doesn't want us to die. He wants us to live. So this is my exhortation today, right now, by the Spirit of God, that you should hear the voice of the Lord. You cannot just live by eating and drinking, but you've got to realize that the way you're going to live It's by hearing what the Lord says and do it. That's how you'll find life. Another thing I'm aware of today, I'm seeing people around me, how they live. They continue in the same paths over and over and over and they're very unhappy. They look for love in all the wrong places. They look for joy in all the wrong places. The pleasure, all the wrong places. They're looking for fulfillment and satisfaction. And they're cast down. Their, their countenance is cast down. They might try to whoop it up and do the party to cause themselves to feel better. The bottom, the, the base, the bottom end is they're always going to feel the same. Discouraged. Because the way of a transgressor is hard. When you're going against the Lord, you'll never find fulfillment. You'll never find joy. You'll never find love or, or the will of God in your life. But the Spirit of God is in the earth today, convicting men of sin, righteousness, and judgment. And the time is ticking. The time is short. There's a appointed time when God will judge the world by Jesus Christ, who came speaking the words of his Father. Not his own, but the words of his Father. He's our example. And he didn't seek his own will. He laid it down. And that's how we have redemption, through Jesus, the innocent Lamb of God. There's a saying in the world today that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over. And and having failure over and over and over. But you think it's going to change. People are going down an escalator into hell. This This is the will of the devil who hates you. He's a liar. He's a murderer. He's a thief. And he'll lead you down the path that's wide and broad that leads to destruction. And there's so many people going that direction. 
But the way that God has called you is very narrow, very straight, and very few find it. But for Jesus' sake, because he was beaten for our sins, he was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Come, hear the voice of the shepherd calling you, because my sheep know my voice, and I know them by their name, and they follow me. Jesus is walking the path of life where there is joy, where there is peace and fulfillment and blessing. Stop going the way of the destruction because it's only going to be destruction. It's never going to be blessed. But the way of blessing and fulfillment is by turning to the Lord and then you'll have joy unspeakable and full of glory. This is Trevor Davis sounding the alarm at soundingthealarm.com. Blessed are you by following the Lord.